This is a 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLE 350 4Matic. Today we're working with our friends here at Sears Imported Autos in beautiful Minnetonka, Minnesota. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys in a Ride. Ride. And Nathan, tell the folks what we got here today. Oh, today we have the 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLE 350 format. Exactly. Say, and if you want to keep up to date with all the new cars, trucks, and SUVs out there, and you like cool collector car stories, take a moment, hit that subscribe button down below, and ring that bell notification so you never miss a video. So what do you say, Nathan? Let's go for a ride. All right. So earlier I had set the car to comfort mode and it was extremely comfortable. Uh, it, it, it affects the steering, it affects the suspension um, and the acceleration. And it was very comfortable. Right now I have it uh, turned into sport mode. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so that, that has definitely stiffened everything up, including the ride. Um, as you would want it to do. You, you want to see a difference in those modes, mm -hmm. um, and you, you definitely see them. I, I, I've got a comment. I absolutely love the heads-up display. They're, they're, I'll show you this in the review, but there are basically three boxes of information that you can alter and change. And everything is run. All the controls for the HUD are all run from basically one spot. You don't have to reach off your steering wheel even to do it. Uh, they've made it really convenient. And it's user friendly. Um, just really nice. Uh, as far as getting in and out of the vehicle, uh, that was made easy. Uh, there are a couple things there is a grab handle on top here, but they also have a grab handle on the interior center console, which is also really nice. And I know that you know, some people have maybe have uh, difficulty uh, maneuvering. Uh, and having a grab handle on the center dash is really nice. It's got a little bit of a growl to it, it doesn't it? It does. <laughs> it does. And I have it in sport mode, so it does not want to. It does not want to shift. So it gives you a little early, bit more yes. of that. Uh -huh. I love it. I love it. That's so cool. You know, in in terms of uh, parking, uh, one of the really neat things they've done on the rear, uh, rear view camera when you back up is that they've put a third guideline. Normally you just have two guidelines, right and left side. Right. But they put a third one that traces your front tire. So you know where your front tire is going to end up, which I like. So not just where the back side of the yeah, back side of the car is going to end up, but again, Correct. then you're going to have an idea, well, is the front end sticking out? Or is the front end over the line? or? or and then interestingly oh, enough, really they cool. gray out the whole area between the tires on the map. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of interesting. I, I I think it's maybe to make you more aware of the surface that you're covering. Oh, okay. So if you see an obstacle in the road, because that's going, where okay. you're going to shadow as a right. vehicle. Right. Okay. It's kind of interesting. Um, you know, just it, in terms of uh, we're we're in a parking lot here, so it, it's not an overly large vehicle. I mean, it's footprint. Right. You know, the wheelbase is is not that. I don't know what it is, but it's it's not that long, and it is very easy to park. And you, this has the 360 camera system on it, so if you wanted to use, um, you know, the cameras, you could turn those on and use them as you park. Okay. So it's got the front camera on the sides, and it has sensors front and rear too. Right. Yeah. yeah no, really nice. Very comfortable. Uh, just a beautiful interior. Wow. All right, Rob's turn to drive. Woo -hoo. Well, I got to tell you, it, it it is supremely quiet in here. Oh yes. Um, fit and finish, 
wow I, I mentioned it earlier that I was afraid this would look like it was just stuck on but uh, the whole dash panel information panel there is nicely integrated and it's beautiful and that's in comfort mode it's pretty spry it's yeah. uh, it zips and goes and it'll get you out of the way and it'll help you merge traffic and everything else if you need to so yeah it's got plenty of get up and go on it it's extremely quiet extremely peppy and extremely did i say extremely enough <laughs> i'm not as sure it's, it's a want to very it more time. extremely safe car as well it's he, he always says that right before he hits the brakes hard <laughs> it's comfortable how is it back there as far as comfort goes no comfort is fine the you know the seats, seats the, are the, nice. the sides are actually bolstered oh okay um so you, you you kind of feel like you're sitting a little bit in a you know in a in, in a cradle. So I mean more so than a typical SUV second row. Okay. I like it. Okay. Well, up next our exterior review, and then Nathan will take you for a tour of the inside and show you all this beautiful dashboard layout and all the technology that's in your in this vehicle. Plus, Nathan, you're going to do an extended. Correct. I'll cut an extended video. It'll be a separate one just on the driver's information center and the infotainment center and all the awesome tech that's in there. And you can see that now if you click on the little white banner up at the top or the link is also in the our description. description too. But Nathan will take you on a full tour, 25-30 uh, minute long video of all the technology that's built into this vehicle. And you're really going to want to watch that because yes. it's fan just, the, just the look of it's beautiful. I imagine yes. all the information it's going to give you is fantastic, so that's, yeah. that's really cool. Alrighty. The Mercedes-Benz GLE is one of the top rated luxury SUVs currently on sale in the U.S. and it should come as no surprise that the 2020 GLE sets a new standard. The GLE is available in uh, GLE 350, GLE 354-Matic, and GLE 454-Matic trim levels and mostly distinguished by its choices of engines and all-wheel drive. Today we're looking at the 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLE 354 Matic. This version is powered by the two-liter inline four-cylinder turbo engine with echo start and stop, produces 250 horsepower and 273 foot-pound of torque, get, which delivers 19 city and 26 highway, and it's uh, driven with a nine-speed G-Tronic automatic transmission. This one does have full-time automatic all-wheel drive and a rear axle ratio of 3.69. There's also an additional engine oil cooler. It does have two skid plates as well. Up front, you have the fully automatic projector beam, LED high and low beam daytime running lights with delay off. And this one does have the chrome grille. You do have the speed sensitive rain detecting fixed interval wipers. And the vehicle is fully galvanized steel panels. You also see it does have the body colored front bumper with metal look, rub strip, fascia accent. Taking a look around the side, you do have the black body side cladding and black wheel trim uh, around here. That is a matte plastic. You do have the aluminum side window trim with the uh, black front windshield trim. It does have body colored door handles, body colored power heated mirrors with driver auto dimming, power folding, and turn signal indicators. It also does have the mirrors, uh, excuse me, the cameras and the puddle lights as well uh, for the perimeter approach lights. This vehicle does come with remote engine start, stability control, and brake assist. You do have gas pressurized shock absorbers, front and rear anti-roll bars, double wishbone suspension with coil springs, multi-link rear suspension with coil springs with selective damping. Also has automatic with driver control ride control suspension. It has electronic power assisted speed sensitive steering as well. It does have permanent locking uh, hubs and it does ride on 20 inch twin five spoke wheels with P275 50R20 all season tires. All right, and taking you around the back, you can see the shiny uh, roof rails as well. I really like that. Uh, they do have a version that's a midnight edition that is all blacked out and that's a really nice look. 
Okay, out back, you do have the body colored rear bumper with black rub strip. And it does have the uh, fascia accent metal look bumper insert as well down below. This does have the tra uh, trailering equipment uh, included with the trailer sway control. Now it does have a fixed rear windshield with fixed interval wiper, heated wiper, park, so it heats right here where the wiper parks, and defroster. Has a quasi-dual stainless steel exhaust with polished tailpipe finisher. Does have rear fog lights, and they are LED brake lights, and you do have a uh, backup camera. Okay, and this vehicle does have the power lift gate. And I gotta tell you, it's one of the easiest ones we've found so far this year that works. Inside, you see there is max cargo space of 80.3 cubic feet with the second row seats lowered. Okay, I do want to show you inside here because I think it's really cool what Mercedes-Benz has done with this vehicle. Uh, a couple things, you do have the uh, spare tire underneath and you've got the tools as well. Hey, Nathan, you want to give me a hand here? Sure. But you see where you've got this cargo cover. It's great if you're actually putting stuff in here that uh, is just for the cargo. That's okay. You don't have to take it down. Okay. Uh, I just wanted you to be able to lift this up and show. But if, you know, if you're using it to cover up what you've got back here, that's really good. But let's say uh, you're carrying something, you're going to need the seats folded, and that's going to be in the way. So Mercedes has come up with something that you can store it instead of leaving it at home it'll store right down in here all the way over to here so you don't have to pre-think about what you're going to pick up say you're at the antique store or you're going to the uh to, to the um big box discount store and you're loading up with some tall things here uh you you don't have to think about leaving that cargo cover at home you can just put it down in the storage area back here so then that gives you unlimited amount of space there to where normally you would have had to uh i guess take that off and lay it on the side or stack stuff up on it that's that's a really cool feature and i like that yeah, this vehicle is capable of 0 to 60 in 7.1 seconds. Now, its overall length is 194.3 inches, height 70.7, width 84.9, and it rides on a wheelbase of 117.9 with a ground clearance of 7.1 inches and a turning circle of 39.4 feet. Now, gross vehicle weight on this, this uh, GLE is 6,217 pounds, and it does have a 1,521-pound maximum payload. It's got a coefficient of drag of 0.29, has a fuel capacity of 22.5 gallons, and it can tow up to 7,700 pounds. Safety, on our scale of spade, safety, active brake assist, active parking assist, advanced airbag protection system, anti-theft alarm, blind spot assist, side impact beams, active parking assist, automated parking sensors, and there's probably 50 more that I didn't even mention yet. So it's just, it's amazing, the safety of this car. Performance, like I said, it is 0 to 60 in 7.1 seconds. Now, for 2020, as appearance goes, it's been given a full redesign, adding more features, more refinement, and greater capabilities. Dependability, it is covered by a four-year, 50,000-mile, all-inclusive bumper. And economy, 19 city, 26 highway we talked about this earlier as well ease of getting in and out and nathan had mentioned the center console has a grab handle i want to bring you over here and let's take a look at this it's easy exit and entrance one of the things is is because the seat is below your hip point so it makes it very easy to get in and out of this vehicle both for uh, shorter people, for younger people, for older people, for anyone who may have issues uh, that they don't like to climb up into a vehicle or necessarily go down into a vehicle as well. It's easy, just get in, right in, slide over. So the ease of entry and exit on this vehicle is very, very easy. Now let's talk about styling. A couple of the things I like, I like the overall look of the vehicle. I like the brushed chrome look, but one of the cool little details that I like, and I don't know if it's for aerodynamics or not, or if it really needs to be there, but I do like it. And it's just an extra little line right here that just gives this back window area a little character. 
The overall shape is the same, but it's an evolution of the original vehicle. And one of the knocks on the original vehicle back years and years ago when he first came out was that it looked too much like a minivan. You're not gonna get that with this vehicle anymore because it is definitely a classy looking SUV. And you can see that around the back and around the side here. And I'll show you. Love the tail lights. It says Mercedes Benz right in the corner here. You've got the GLE 350. You have the chrome uh, exhaust finishers down below. Overall, very nicely done. One of the nuances that uh, it's really cool here, you have the body color door handle here, but then you also have, and yes, I have the key fob with me, so it just locked. But then you have the chrome cap on top of this, which makes it really nice. It's a nice look to it. You have the matte black plastic uh, wheel cover arches, and then you've got those beautiful wheels down below as well. Overall, very nicely done. So up next, Nathan's gonna take you for a tour on the inside and I gotta grab, reach in here and see if I can grab the key. Come on over, Nathan. Oh, you don't want to? Okay, he's, he's, <laughs> he's gone to lunch. So, <laughs> all right, let's see if I, jump, jump, come on, jump. <laughs> Give me my keys. All right, Nathan's gonna take you for a tour on the inside and show you all the fantastic technology. And again, like we said in the ride, there will be a separate video and you can click on that link up at the top right now, or we actually will put that link in the description below too. So take it away, Nathan, all yours. All right, come on folks, let's take a look on the inside. And stepping into the 2020 GLE 350, on the driver's side here, we have a beautiful brown uh, walnut. Uh, it's a, it's like a natural finish, and it just, I really like it. Um, and you can see that it goes across the entire uh, front of the uh, car and onto the passenger's door. But I really like that. And one of the reasons I like it is because it doesn't leave uh, your fingerprints. I mean, obviously they're there, but you don't see them. Uh, so that is really nice. Uh, this has got the 13 speaker Burmeister sound system. So there are one of the, where there is one of the speakers. You have a heated and cooled seats. Uh, you have a 10 way power seat here with a three person memory setting. And then your unlock and lock buttons are inside of your door handle area. And then you have your auto up and down windows, window lockout, your mirror controls, and then you're folding your button. Down here, you do have your back trunk release as well as some nice storage. Now, the, the one thing that I, I'll point out on this seat here is that the lumbar buttons are located on the seat itself. So you can inflate, deflate, and then you can raise or lower the lumbar. But I also like the fact that the headrest here will raise and lower automatically on both sides. The seats themselves are covered in MB text, uh, which really looks uh, so much like leather. Uh, but it's just it's easier to clean and maintain and uh, I, I really like that uh, down here on the front you've got your uh, automatic parking brake here you've got your light control switch it does have auto lights and then you have your fog lamp and then you have your uh, dashboard and uh, infotainment screen brightness or dimness control here uh, down here you do have a foot rest which is always nice to have on the left. This does come with a HUD display, which is right there. We'll show you that too. And again, MB Tech's covering on the dashboard. Just wanna show a couple of things on the left-hand side of the steering column. First of all, you have a heated steering wheel. And you actually have uh, on or off buttons right here. Okay, And then you have power uh, tilt and telescoping wheel. All right, so when you first get in, you get this nice little uh, front end of a Mercedes with the LED lights on. And then on your infotainment screen, if you don't start it for a while, eventually there will be another screen that shows up that says start. We'll just go ahead and start it up. All right, so what you have is you have your infotainment screen right here, which is a 12.3 inch screen. And then over here, you have your driver's information screen, which is another 12.3 inch screen, but they're covered with one flat uh, glass piece in the front. 
and they are just absolutely amazing at what at what is uh, all available in here. But I am going to cut a whole other video on that, so I'm not going to go into that. All I'll say is that it's customizable, and that uh, the infotainment system comes with a Burmeister sound system, which is 13 speakers, 590 watts. It is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capable, along with Bluetooth. All right, then, moving on here. Let's take a look at the steering wheel real quick. Okay, these are your controls for your driver's information center. These identical controls control your infotainment center. Okay, uh, you've got your cruise control settings right here. Over here, you have volume, phone on, phone off, favorites, and voice command right here. All right, moving on over to the climate control system here. You do have uh, touchscreen controls that you can use up here, but you also have physical controls. So you got, it is dual zone auto climate control. Okay, um, moving down here, if you push this open, you do have a, wi a wireless charging pad right here. You do have two USB ports. This one is for hooking into Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. This is a charging one, and they're both USB-C. If I open this up, you do have a 12-volt outlet right there. And then you have heated and cooled cup holders. Now, you can see some of this lighting right here. Uh, it occurs in a fair number of places in the vehicle, and I'll try to highlight those. Um, but here's your heat and cool. So one push is heat, actually cold. One push is cold. Second push is heat. Okay. And of course these will retract to, uh, adjust to your cup size. So you got that adjustment and then you got that one. All right. Moving back here. Now, Mercedes has gone away from the rotary dial. And it kind of used to be where you had one mouse pad down here and one down here, kind of redundant system. And now this is just a rest pad. That's all that is, but it's really nice. And this is the controller. Uh, very intuitive as to uh, how to use it. All right, down here we have a dynamic mode button. So if I go up here, I've got individual, I've got sport, I've got comfort, and I've got eco. So let's say, oh, then you got off-road too. All right, down here you have access to your cameras with a push of a button. It's got the lovely 360 degree camera system. Okay, so in this mode, then you can use the mouse pad to scroll down and see the different viewpoints. Uh, I just, I really like that, this tracking pad. You know, this is the one I'm talking about again, just right here, um, but man, that is just really, really, really nice. Okay, so that's the camera system. Okay, down here you have another button that has a picture of a Mercedes on. If you click it, here's where you can get control of a couple different things. So you have your ESP, your parking sensors, um, You've got the HUD display. You can turn these things on or off. There's a bunch of things up there, but again, I'm not getting into all those now. Um, if I use the um, scroll pad, I can just scroll through these different things and then click on it, and then it will go to the all, everything that has to do with lights. So just, I mean, phenomenal uh, buttons, phenomenal graphics. This is your favorites button, so if you click that, It'll bring you right up to your favorites, and then you can you can actually make a new order of these. But that's what that does. Down here, you have a telephone button, so if you push that, there's no phone connected, but it will take uh, you up to up. It'll take several phones, and uh, this is where that information would show up. If you want quick access to your radio and media, that's that button right there, and it brings that uh, information up. This does come with uh, Sirius XM satellite. And then, of course, you have your navigation or map button. So a lot of quick pushes, um, and then you're right at a particular menu without having to touch or do anything else. All right, yeah, I like the four air vents on the front, and then you have two different adjusters for them, one on this side that controls these two, and one on that side that controls these two. All right? And uh, so let's continue on back here to the center armrest. So if I click this button here, this just uh, opens up, and then you do have change angles here you do have a usb port right down here there it is 
okay and then you do have some uh, like a phone storage down there and otherwise you have a, an apple side storage uh, area right in there it is it is slanted down towards the bottom instead of being flat but um, you can still fit a number of things in there okay the glove compartment is over here let's just open that up for a minute ample room it is felt lined I do like the fact they have little uh, like a pen or pencil clip right here all right uh, up here, you do have an auto dimming rear view mirror. Okay, so up here, you've got your LED lights in the front here for reading. Uh, you got three LEDs on the right, three LEDs on the left. I really like that look. And then if you want to turn on the back lights here, you can just click right here. And the back lights will come on. You can then shut them all off. Okay, over here, you've got your Mercedes and me button. You've got your SOS button. And then this is the window shade. So if you just push it straight back, it opens the shade. Okay, and then if you push it up, then it opens up the actual sun, sun window. Okay. And then we close the shade. So easy, one button does both. So on the driver and passenger side, these are the same, uh, but you do have lighting. It's up here, but if you open this up, light comes on, and then you have a mirror here. You also have, if I move this out, and I fold this down, you have an extra shade. So you can actually have two shades up at the same time. And of course, this does telescope. And stepping into the back, we notice that we have three-stage heated seat uh, on the outboard uh, seats. And then we have one of the Burmeister speakers. And uh, just another carryover of the front door trims here is very nice. And then, of course, uh, Apple storage down in here. All right, on the inside, both driver and passenger have cargo nets in the back. And you have air vents right here, a uh, tiny little storage here. And then down here, you have a little bit more. You have a little storage here that would be big enough to set a phone into, or perhaps two. Uh, and then you have dual USB outlets, and these are USB-Cs. And then with the lid closed, you can still access those. And then, and then you've got a household plug-in down here. It is a, a two-pronged plug-in. Um, the seats themselves are comfortable. You can see that they're bolstered on the sides, and that is very comfortable when you sit in them. And then in addition to that, of course, you have a center armrest with two cup holders in the rear. All right, so in terms of leg room and head room, you can see here, if I take my glasses off for a second. Uh, okay, good um, two and a half inches of headroom, plenty. Uh, even with my glasses up on top of my head, I still didn't hit anything. And then down here, this is where the seat Rob left it. And I can hardly stretch my fingers from my knee to the to the back of the seat. I mean, it is, oh my gosh, it's got to be close to a foot. Up here, you do see you've got uh, grab handles. And then you do have LED lighting right there on both sides. So overall, just a really nice, comfortable uh, back seat. Okay, I got to say that my absolute favorite thing on this car is, of course, this whole MBUX system here uh, from the driver's inter uh, information screen to the uh, infotainment screen. Okay, so my favorite thing on this vehicle, we talked about it just a little bit in my general overview, but it's where you can store this cargo cover. Yep. Now, don't go in here and get ourselves lost because I don't know if I can remember how to get back to there. Okay. I'm not paying attention. All right. So we Okay. I'll turn around. I'll turn around. You so better be back. paying attention because I'm not. I want to. I don't know where we're at. Oh no, nope, we didn't come out through here. We didn't come out through here, did we? See, you got us lost already. <laughs> I didn't think this is. I thought we went. No, we're further. right over there. Oh, uh, the next one then. Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna get in the back? Um, I don't want to get in the back. I want to see all the buttons. But well, yes, I will. It might be. It's a nice area back there too. 